what's good everyone welcome back to the channel and in today's video i will show you how i build an ai system that researches competitors researches the reviews that competitors get and crafts ad copy and ad scripts for your ads because if you have ever worked in marketing or you know someone who works in marketing you know how long this process can take to research the competition to uh, look at what the reviews the competitors get and based on that craft ad copy you know to your competing product that actually can take a lot of time therefore in today's video i will show you how you can automate that whole process and how i've built this automation um, so you know this is something that real uh advertising agencies would use and something that they actually want uh, so this is you know not a random automation but this is a real world uh, use case uh, so before we start uh, yeah so this is the whole flow and how it goes but also I have like an air table so this is the end result and this is how we have everything uh, stored so for example uh, when we start scraping we have uh, this button starts everything and then this uh, flow is being triggered uh, so I'm gonna show you like how the ad scripts actually look for example if you click on here you can see it creates the hook uh, it creates the problem amplification uh, like our unique solution so it compares like our product with competitor product uh, it lists out the benefits and features of our product uh, yeah, future regret, social proof, and CTA. And basically, uh, the system is able to scrape, you know, hundreds uh, of reviews and then create hundreds of script ideas, even daily if you want. Uh, so yeah, this is the Airtable and how the final output looks. So, uh, but the whole flow actually starts from uh, this table. So for example, all you have to do here is add the domain of your competitor and you'll have a button uh, scrape reviews so for example if i click on this you actually can see there's a webhook url and it appends a record id over here and then when it starts scraping it actually has a progress uh, like a status in progress and when it's done it just marks it's done so i've already ran this i didn't want to run this on the video because it would take um, actually quite a while but now let's go step by step on how this uh, system is built out. So the first thing we have over here is a webhook. Again, uh, it has a HTTP method get like a webhook URL. I just copy again, paste it in inside the button, appended the record ID, and every time you click on this, it uh, receives you know this call uh, and sends the record ID. So I can zoom in. Uh, the next step, I just get that record ID. I insert it in here. Uh, so this is like a get record Airtable uh, node. Um, so from the webhook, I receive it under the query record ID over here. So just drag and drop in here and we're good. Uh, then I just update the status. So for example, you know, I uh, again match the ID and I just say in progress. And like the next step that we do is actually research with perplexity. Uh, so this perplexity node uh, makes a call to chat completions, has the method post, and this is how it's configured. So basically I'm using the model a sonar. Um, again, this is since I'm running this on my uh, own, um, you know, N8N instance, I'm using sonar, but if you want this research to be better, use sonar pro. Uh, for the role system, I have a very simple one, very straightforward. Uh, nothing much and then for the content I just insert from the air table uh, the competitor domain and that starts the research about the uh, company itself so for example if uh, you look at the um, content or the output it gets all of the research about story worth so this is the the competitor that we entered uh, so what are you know uh, their products what are uh, key features of their products what um, people talk about them so basically perplexity is able to search the whole web uh, on that information and then we just simply add that information into Airtable. again we match it by uh, record id and over here for example if i go into uh, like their research competitor business 
node i can see there is a choices drop down and there's like message and content so you would just drag and drop this here like so uh yeah and then we're pretty much done with the uh, like the research itself about the business and then the next thing we do is actually we scrape uh, the customer reviews about our competitor. Uh, and this is the part that allows us to then create those ad scripts or marketing material for our company. Uh, so first of all, I'm gonna go into the Appify because this is making an Appify request. And uh, this is the scraper that I use, Trustpilot Review Scraper. It's actually free to use, uh, so you don't have to pay anything. Uh, and all you have to do is add, you know, company domain here, uh, apply certain filters, and then you just go to JSON. Uh, it, you know, creates like a JSON structure for you. You just copy this, head over to uh, Apify, and then, I mean, to HTTP request node, and you just paste that in. So for example, again, for the company domain, I just add the storyworth.com, the count so i'm scraping 50 reviews at a time of course you can increase this number significantly i just wanted didn't want you know to uh for this example you know to scrape thousands of reviews because that's going to take a while uh for the date so uh, scraping reviews for the past year uh, i don't want to see the replies that company uh responded with and then the star so i want to scrape all of the reviews and then there is like this url uh, yeah, so you can get that again from the Apify. I think if you go into integrations or not exactly, um, API, yeah, and API endpoints. Uh, oh no, I don't want to look it up. I just want to press on it. You have all of the API endpoints uh, with your token inserted. So you just copy from here, you go into here, paste the URL, select the method post, and it starts scraping uh, pretty much like everything. Then the next step that we have is the sentiment analysis. So sentiment analysis is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, this node, all it has is basically a review body from uh, what we scrape on the Appify. So this is the review body, just drag and drop it in here and it does sentiment analysis on that review. And I created uh, three routes because naturally the sentiment analysis has three routes. So it has positive, it has neutral, and it has negative. Oh, also maybe an important thing to mention is that for uh, like sentiment analysis, I'm using 4.0 mini uh, ChatGPT model because it's cheap, it's fast, um, and it gets the job done really well. So you don't need to really worry about it much. Um, but yeah, so it has three routes and each route is going to create a different script, a uh, different ad script based on the review. So if it's a positive review, it's going to be one type of ad script. If it's a negative review, it's going to be a totally different type of um, ad script and then neutral, in like a third type of ad script. Uh, but you know how this uh, exactly is configured is that, for example, okay, we uh, decided that the sentiment is positive or of a review then we're using a create record node in NA10. So over here um, to create, let's say the record. So instead of using the competitors table, I'm using the reviews table. So you can see here table from the list is reviews. And you can see that for the headline, so I'm just adding uh, the review headline that I received from sentiment analysis. For a review rating, I'm adding the rating value that I receive from Appify. So this would be the field. Uh, then for the review message, I'm using again review body from the Appify. So this would be the field. Uh, publish date. Again, this is not necessary, but if you want to know when uh, the review was posted, it's it might be relevant. For example, if you want the latest uh, reviews, or uh, if you, for example, want to see if their review. Uh, that someone left on your competitor is relevant right now. So yeah, uh, I just add date published. Then for the sentiment, so I just add positive manually, just type it in as a fixed value. And then uh, I actually, um, yeah, what do I do? I link the record in the air table. So for example, if I would collapse these, uh, you would notice, oh, actually I would collapse this, collapse this. 
there is update status um, node and we receive an ID from it. So this is actually allows me to get the uh, record ID of this record. Therefore, I added here and I added in the brackets as array. So then when we are adding uh, the ad scripts and the sentiment, all of the reviews would show up, show up here and would be linked uh, to this particular competitor. So then when we go into reviews, we can know exactly like this is the storyworth.com uh, competitor. Uh, these are the negative reviews about them. These are the neutral, the positive ones. And then we on the side can see each generated script idea for that specific review and that specific competitor. So everything is then structured very nicely. Uh, and yeah, we pretty much don't have to uh, then filter out, spend time looking for what is what. So it's very organized. By the way, I forgot to mention this, but uh, if you want to actually get this template for free for this workflow, I'm going to like add a, a link down below uh, to a newsletter. Uh, when you're going to subscribe to it, you're going to receive this template for free. Uh, so that's that. Uh, yeah, so I've explained this particular uh, crate record. Then what I do is actually uh, I get a record uh, which is again from the competitor node so if i collapse these update status even mm -hmm, or no oh no i'm actually yeah receiving uh from the actually from the latest Airtable node uh, i'm just taking competitor and then fetching the first uh id like id zero and adding it in the record ID, uh, like so. Yeah. So I'm getting this record again. And then uh, why I'm doing that, because I need to get uh, the domain name itself uh, to configure the prompt. So I'm not going to go over the whole prompt, because again, um, yeah, it's going to take some time. But I'm going to go through the system prompt. So for example, what it has here, it inserts like, it, first of all, it says you're intelligent ad script writer. Your goal is to analyze positive customer reviews of our competitor. And then it inserts uh, storyworth.com and use them as inspiration to craft an even more compelling ad script for my life in a book.com, which is for example, like a company that we work in with. And then, uh, yeah, this is pretty much it with uh, like the system prompt. And then uh, for the user prompt, uh, then what I do, I say that uh, you will receive information about our competitor. So that's why I use that latest uh, Airtable node. I just drag and drop the competitor domain in here. And below it shows up like this. Where it is. So it shows now you will receive information. Oh, shoot. Now you will receive information about competitor, storyworth.com. And then all of the information about them, which is, you know, uh, I include competitor research and uh, yeah. And then I say also here's a positive review uh, we found about our competitor. So what this does, this uh, writes an ad script variation, uh, very, very specific based on that uh, review. And then finally, when it does that, it just updates the record in the air table. So it matches uh, on the ID and it inserts the text. So uh, if we go into the reviews, like the script idea column is our final product or, you know, the final result of this automation. So for example, let's say we have a negative review and then like we have a very short review message. The questions were too specific for most of them. And we can see what AI came up with. Uh, so for example, they have a hook tired of being asked questions that don't match your life story, ever felt frustrated trying to share your memories, but the problems just don't fit, question mark. And then we have problem amplification. We have our unique solution. We have the benefits and features. Uh, we have future regret. Uh, yeah, for example, don't let your most meaningful memories go untold because they don't fit someone else's template. Every life story is unique and deserve to be told that way. So as you can see, it uh, tailored uh, this script idea uh, very heavily on the review. 
and let's say if you have this running on autopilot and scraping let's say the reviews every week let's say you're, every week you're scraping reviews for the past week uh, soon enough you're gonna have like a library of script ideas uh, for your business for your marketing agency for your advertising agency uh, whatever you're working on um, and yeah this is the final product this is uh, how the final automation looks like I actually really like the look of it I also really like when you build any end workflows it just looks cool um, so yeah uh, but it works uh, there's you know real world use cases there are companies that actually want this system uh, implemented which is you know cool is something practical practical that you can use and probably the last thing that I for forgot to mention over here um, there's like another Airtable record all it does it just marks the status done in the Airtable when we're finished scraping and that's uh, pretty much it so again if you want to get this uh, workflow template for free uh, subscribe to the newsletter link down below and you're gonna receive it uh, completely for free you can use it uh, you know uh, you just have to you know import it on your any tenant and you're gonna be good uh, to go also if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next one